Recently, I was joined by Josh Reynolds for a special retrospective tasting of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir from right here in Rosemary's Vineyard. This was part of Tally Vineyard's 30th anniversary celebration, and we tasted wines from the 2006 through 2012 vintages. So, 2006. Should I get the honey? Yeah. yeah. Not too much, though. I mean, there's still, um, there's still good freshness. It starts to get a little bit of dryness on, on the back. Mm -hmm. So you get a kind of go from honey to honeycomb. Mm -hmm. um, you know, beeswax, you know, where you get a little bit of the dried citrus, but more as a grace note. I think it's, I think it's on. 2006 was a good vintage for Chardonnay. So, um, 08. 08, now we're back up. Yep. To energy. Yep. What was citrus fruits? Mm -hmm. And some of that pear, which I said I always get. I seem to find a lot in the Chardonnay's here. Mm -hmm. Still good acidity. Yeah. Well, Rosemary's Vineyard, that's, that's something I, I didn't talk about. I mean, in my experience, produces some of the highest uh, acid Chardonnay in California. Here I see, I see some melon, mm -hmm. some peach, not like peach liqueur, not uh, peach nectar, but that kind of sweeter. Yes, stone fruit. it's more, it's a, it's a juicier, it's a little more succulent. But at the same time, it has a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, now I guess as you get into the ten, you see uh, a little less, less ripeness there. At the same time, there's a generosity to it. That I would say is <clears throat> is where I would imagine a six year old version of this one to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that is on. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just interesting to keep going back to them as they oh, yeah. as they evolve in the glass. I'd say I sure like the exuberance of the other ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm digging the just have the 10 right now. That's what I got right here. Yeah. See, the 10 has some interesting sort of herb and floral things. Right. I'm working backwards from the 12 Nilo. Right. To me, the Pinots have a very interesting arc mm -hmm. of. And how would you describe that if, if you were to put the. I'm, I'm, I'd say very solidly at about six, seven years. Right. To me, it's a question of when the fruit drops. Yeah. Because that is, the, to me, that's like really the task of Pinot, is to deliver delicious fruit. Mm -hmm. People buy Pinot because it's delicious. Pinot, the, the big success of Pinot is because it is just so delicious. And it's not to say, well, it's definitely not to say that it's easy. Right. It's easy to love. Pinot's crazy stuff. Thanks for joining us today. To see Josh's complete notes and all the reviews, go to Venice.com.